Well, this time, and I know a lot of you watch this later, and so me being late for my 1.30 live doesn't actually mean anything to you, but <laughs> I'm still on this perpetual thing trying to be here on time. But this time I got a call to pick up my son from school, so it's not even my fault. <laughs> Anyway, he's fine, by the way, just not here laughing and there's nothing wrong with him. He's fine. Um, I would have been, so we're doing lots of markets at the moment, um, making sure lots of people get their hands on Stripey Horse products to get them out for Christmas, for some beautiful radiant skin for their friends and family. So um, keep an eye out for us this weekend. We're going to be at Saturday is Pit Water. Sunday is Ride, and then the 21st of December, which I think is a Thursday, is at Paddington. So those are the three places that you can come and um, come and chat in person. Um, and if you mention that you're a follower, I will give you a free skin consult or skin energy healing. Um, if you would like, uh, just come and let me know. And I just was getting asked a lot of questions about... Um, I think it's because I was rushing like a mad woman. Um, the questions I've been asked a lot about are how to keep your skin hydrated and fresh looking during this period of year. So as mums, I think that it's pretty common that no matter what we do to plan, it's crazy time. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. And I love my friends and I've said this before, but please don't say to me, let's catch up before Christmas. Like let's meet up in January when everything calms down and we're all relaxed because in, no matter what you do, it just seems to be insane. Um, you know, you've got all those additional beautiful events at school, those prize giving and the um, carols and this, that and the other. So those are beautiful events. I absolutely love going. I am first and foremost a mum, and that's really important to me to be there for my children, uh, but also combined with all of the things of e-commerce and Christmas and just wrapping up things for the year, it feels insane. So how does that, relate to our skin. It shows on our skin. There is no getting around it. Uh, what happens is that initially we look just a bit dull. And so um, our skin looks dull and 99 times out of 10, all of those people will go and exfoliate the frig out of their skin. <laughs> and you know what? It's actually not super helpful because what your skin is dying and asking for is nourishment and protection and not actually to be scraped off. So definitely as we get older, there is their, um, hi Dan, how are you? It's been a while. <laughs> um, that as we get older, there is definitely that period of time where we have, um, we need to encourage our skin uh, cells to turn over more quickly because as we get older, that slows down. So yes, that's a thing. And hopefully I'll remember to come back to that. I'm gonna try and park that one for later. But the, primarily um, the things that I hear from people talking about at the market. So one beautiful girl was talking about the fact that she was doing the strongest strength retinol during the day and at night. So if you imagine that retinol is a, um, we don't have to imagine it, it's a pretty, uh, it's a very strong chemical exfoliation of our skin. So if I like to talk about, and leather I know is not the greatest connotation, and if you think of something Maybe I can say velvet. Um, anyway, if you can think of a good word, let me know, because I've talked about it being leather, but it doesn't really resonate because no one wants skin like leather, right? Um, maybe it's like, I, I don't know. Please let me know if you think of a word. <laughs> but let me just persist with this analogy. So if you have your skin and it's like, um, maybe we can call it velvet. So if it's like a beautiful sheet of velvet with very fine, you know, the very fine, what is that called? The little, like the, the hairy bit on the velvet. If you have um, your skin is like that and we're pouring on a very strong exfoliating chemical during the day and at night, do we think that our skin is going to feel strong and hydrated and glowy and want to, I guess, be that protective boundary between you and the world? I think what you'll find is what happens to most people is initially you get this beautiful response to your skin, it looks glowy, and then you think, this is great, let's do more. Um, that is the problem. Don't do more, do less. So there is a place, uh, and I personally wouldn't choose retinol, there are some beautiful alternatives, um, but to to encourage that high, uh, sorry exfoliation of the skin. Uh, but what we don't wanna do is actually 
just keep doing more and more and more. It's kind of like a pulsing thing. So I talk a lot about this analogy of if you eat broccoli every day, it's not a superfood. Um, and think of it the same way. So if you are using some kind of acid to exfoliate your skin every day, twice a day, forever, which is what someone in a salon is gonna tell you to do because you're gonna come in and buy their products, we're gonna end up with a, skin, with a skin barrier that's damaged and it needs hydration. And so what happens is it starts to get, so if you imagine this beautiful, smooth velvet, you'll start to get it where it'll be missing little patches of hair. You know, the little hairy bits? I don't even know what the words are to describe it. I really should look this up before I start talking. But anyway, I'm here. Uh, so with these little hairy bits, you've got to imagine that you really want them all to be sort of up and pointing in the right direction. So they're your skin cells, right? So if we have our skin cells are all beautifully hydrated, they're all kind of like lining along and get that beautiful um, texture on velvet. And I know it's, you know, kind of fun to run your fingers through it and sort of make it all change directions. But you get that it's all lining up in the right way. And then you're going to get a really lovely, glossy, glowy look. Now, if you start to use this chemical all the time and then you get, you'll get a couple of missing hairs because it's like those weren't, it was too strong for them. Um, you'll get uh, little bits that maybe go a bit bald. Uh, and then the velvet will be going, WTF is going on here between me and my barrier, between me and the rest of the world. And it will start to do things like, produce a lot of excess oil or it will um, be very dehydrated on the surface and so then you have to you feel like you need to exfoliate more and more and more and you get stuck into this trap uh, so what I really recommend with people is if you're going to do a treatment like that you do like a pulse treatment and preferably not with retinol but with a natural um, product instead uh, yes watch this space um, but then you're going to get where you Increase that turnover and exfoliation on the skin. Preferably, um, you know, a nice time to do it is after summer or, um, you know, in the cool, like when you've got a bit more time in the in the less busy seasons of the year. <laughs> um, and just do it so as a targeted pulse treatment. Then we're going to really focus on super nourishing our skin. So not only from the beautiful water that we're gonna be having. So, you know, we always talk about the filtered water, making sure that it's uh, re-mineralized and, um, you know, if you've got uh, your hands on a beautiful antioxidant, um, you know, increasing your antioxidants. So we're actually running a beautiful lead um, wellness vitality thing in our group at the moment about really flooding our body with antioxidants. I was to say anti-nourishment. I don't know what's going on in my brain. <laughs> flooding our body with antioxidants and then seeing those changes come from the inside. So making sure that you have adequate fats. A lot of people are still scared of eating fat. Um, you know, I, I know that my um, yoga teacher, she actually, uh, I did my teacher training with her and she eats an entire avocado a day. And she's this tiny petite thing, but it's like, these are the nourishing things that we need from the inside. So making sure that we're not having trans fats, which are glycating for, so they, they form, um, they break down things in our skin and they cause our skin to look not as polished and radiant and beautiful. So making sure we're nourishing ourselves from the inside, hydrating ourselves from the inside. And I'm going to say it, and I'm going to, I always admit this, I'm the worst at the moment, rest. <laughs> there is no way around it. If you're not getting enough sleep and you are kind of, you know, pedal to the metal, you will see those changes on your skin, but they change quickly. So if you are in a bit of a cycle where you've got a lot on, which often it is at this time of year, for me particularly, you know, doing the markets like all weekend, um, I don't even have the weekends to recover. So what I'm finding is that I have to take those moments during the day and I will do things like um, do a small break with tapping or I will do a mini meditation or do some little sound bowls or a bit of sound healing or some Reiki um, but those things that bring us back to ourself during the day for some people it's not those energy practices it might be something like jumping in the ocean uh, I haven't done that recently but that is also super just recovering and stress releasing for our body um, I don't know why I have to tell you, but I feel like the message I'm telling you is that another beautiful one is actually screaming it out underwater. So when the tension is so high and you do not know how to get rid of it and you think that you might go bananas, sometimes going under the water or in the woods somewhere, depends where you are, don't go in the woods near someone's house, they might think you're being murdered, but um, actually going under the water and like screaming it out and just letting all that tension out of your body, a good cry, cr tears actually hold stress hormones. So when we cry, we're actually releasing stress from our body. 
Um, I'm big on encouraging my children to understand this, that, you know, stress is held inside us unless we find a way to release it. So um, there's a lot of a lot of different ways to release stress, but there's some ideas right there. And obviously too, we're gonna to go essential oils. So aromatherapy has been used forever for helping to manage our emotions. And um, sometimes just a quick scent tent, which I've done on here before, where you put a few drops of oil in your hand, give it a little activation and then breathing it in. Um, that is a beautiful way as well, just to send the message to our limbic system and tell our body that we are chill, we are safe, it is fine. Uh, if you don't have time for any of those things, which I sometimes feel like that, if you can hum or sing to yourself, that also sends a message to your body that you are safe and secure. Because if you imagine, if you're being chased by a tiger, <laughs> there's no way you're humming or singing. Uh, so that is our, one of our body's like natural mechanisms to calm down because we just, it um, affects our vagus, vagus nerve and tones it and just tells our body, hey, you're okay. So there's a bunch of ideas about when you are overwhelmed with all the things, uh, but you still need to make sure that you're on point with your nourishment, with your hydration, uh, rest where you can. Um, I know that a lot of people are terrified of the sun. I'm a huge proponent of healthy sunshine. So uh, if you look at any animal, they will always go and sit in the sun. So unless you are the, and if you're, even if you're the palest pale, you can still go out in the morning and the evening and get some healthy sun. Uh, it's important for our body. It's important that we make vitamin D. It is actually a um, hormone regulating uh, methodology to spend some time in the sun. So um, there's a lot of information. There's a lot of research on it. Um, seeing the sunrise and the sunset with no sunglasses on is really great for also regulating our day-night hormones. So all of these things are just natural ways to remind our body that we're safe, secure, and just to get us in those rhythms of life. I said I was going to circle back to something and I can't remember what that thing was right now. It was... All I remember is lavender. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it might come to me. But um, so there are some techniques uh, in terms of increasing that radiance. So we've got the antioxidants as well, um, making sure you're eating a, an appropriate diet for you, knowing if you have any food intolerances and avoiding those things. Um, dehydrating things, coffee, sorry, uh, alcohol, sorry. <laughs> Um, but there are things that we can do to ameliorate that. And one of the things that I love to do is I keep coffee for a special occasion. I am a, I've had testing done. I'm a fast metabolizer of caffeine, but even though I am when I drink and people tell you it's only four hours half-life for coffee in your system. If I have coffee in a few days for a few days in a row, even if it's decaf, so decaf is less coffee, but it's caffeine, but still has caffeine in it. Um, it will wake me up at two o'clock in the night, in the morning, all the time. So I, if I'm stressed, as in lots of things on, and I'm you know struggling to make it all happen, I have to avoid coffee, even decaf. Um, so just play around with that a little bit. Um, alcohol. There are ways of. Um, I don't know. I mean, if you're a big drinker, my mom was an alcoholic, so that is just not something that I do. Um, if you're a big drinker, you're going to see it on your skin. There is probably no way you can get around that. The odd night out is not going to ruin your skin. But if you are constantly drinking the way that it affects your liver, I'm not like a, you know, random teetotaler, but the, I, but there's just not much you can do about it. You're just going to have to do a lot of liver support, but really you're going to have to have a few alcohol free days a week. Otherwise you won't see your best skin. Um, gua sha, masks, um, Gua Sha is amazing. I'm going to, if you would like to have uh, me send you a video of a Gua Sha test, that's not what it's called, tutorial, not a testimonial. <laughs> I testify about it all the time. But a uh, tutorial, just send me a message. It is, um, it is. I keep that just for my Stripey Horse customers, but I will share it with you because it's the festive season. Um, so just send me a message and let me know if you would like access to that. So many people are frightened of the tool. They're like, oh, what do I do with it? Don't freak out, it's easy. So I don't, that'll, if you use a gua sha for a couple of minutes, three times a week, you will see a change in your skin within a fortnight, I promise. Like really, you will. Um, there are lots of other things we do nutritionally for supporting skin when you've got things going on. Um, I am open about the fact that I have no large intestine, so my uh, digestion is different to other people's. 
I and I have MTHFR SNPs and all that kind of stuff. So I support my system with vitamins. And recently, I don't actually know the name of the, and if Karen Bordignon joins at some point, she'll let us know. I can't remember the name of the testing machine that she did, but at our work Christmas party, we all did tested our um, carotenoids with a machine and I was off the charts. So all I can say is, whatever i mean i don't know i was like really i've been in new york drinking for a week like that's not me how can i be doing this but there it just shows that there are things you can do to support your body that really help um i am playing around with at the moment so i'm doing that nutrition challenge in our it's not a challenge it's like we're adding stuff in to build those antioxidant supplies up so we don't end the year feeling absolutely freaking depleted and starting 2024 i was about to say 2021 2024 hoping for something different when we've actually not done anything different so if you would like to join us on that challenge please reach out to me it's just really about supporting our body to get through um so we'll do it in december and january and i know it's December's already started, um, but you can still start now and it will help you. Uh, I think even my beautiful friend Kerry has tried to um, keep things calm at this time of year. And even she's like, well, so it just happens. Like it just is. It's madhouse season. Um, I can't wait till I have like a festive season where I'm like chilling. But anyway, does anyone else have a festive season where they're chilling? Anyway, we'll see. Maybe next year. Um, so there are lots of different things. So using a mask, so even, um, you know, I've got those beautiful, what I call moisture boosters. So they're made from medical grade silicon. So you'll do a light exfoliation. So yes, I exfoliate sometimes. Um, and it would really only be um, once a week is enough. And even then it's a gentle exfoliation. And I don't even do it once, like I don't do it re like regularly once a week. It's just when I think about it. Um, and that will, and then using the moisture boosters. So uh, for your whole body, I recommend don't go and spend your money buying a exfoliating product. If you get gifted one, cool, use it, but don't buy one. It's sugar, olive oil, essential oils. Don't waste your money buying one. <laughs> you don't even need the essential oils, but sugar and olive oil, just your cheap cooking one, not your like beautiful salad one is amazing for exfoliating your skin. I just stand in the shower on the day that I'm gonna clean the shower and I do it all over my body and then um, wash it off. And I'll usually do that in the evening and then I'll add a little bit of moisturizer to my hands, my feet, and I'll put my normal serum on my face and I will apply those um, silicon masks, which you do look like a little bit weird. Uh, can't, can't deny it, you look weird. <laughs> but I'll put those on just for about 10 minutes and the natural heat of your body will help your body, your skin absorb the product that you've put on. And because you've, you've sort of opened up the surface of the skin by gently, gently exfoliating, um, you will then, everything will just go right in and you'll feel super glowy when you wake up the next day. I actually just do it. Usually I just lie in bed and then I just take them off and put them on the side of the bed um, because I'm efficient. I used to say lazy, but I'm efficient with my skincare. And I don't want to be like faffing around waiting for it to like soak in. And I don't love it when people walk around in the socks because I feel like that's a real slip hazard and I don't want anyone to fall over. Um, I would love you to be sitting down when you're doing that. Um, or if you can just sit in front of the TV, you definitely can't use your phone or iPad because when you've got the gloves on, you can't swipe. It's really annoying. It's very annoying. So read a book <laughs> or watch TV. So there are a few tips to keep your skin looking radiant this festive season. Um, just really reminding you that those moments of just stopping during the day are really important. I feel like this is the longest live I've done in a while. Um, I'm obviously on a rant here. Um, if you really wanted to throw in some additional things, I love a little bit of an ice water face splash. Now, a lot of people have asked me about keeping their gua sha in the fridge or freezer. I'm not a fan of that. So I look at... You know, I'm like a, I'm on a long-term game here. I plan to live till I'm 150 and torture my children forever, right? It's going to be around. I'm like never going to go away. Is that weird? It is weird. <laughs> but what I love is that I don't want to be putting things on my skin. Like sometimes you go to a cold country and it's really cold outside and then you go inside and it's boiling. Fine. Not going to worry about that. Sometimes you jump in the ocean and it's cold and it's fine. But if you're keeping, if your skin is kind of, at, in this temperature, and in Sydney, it's quite hot today, super humid, I'm sweating standing here talking to you, that, and you keep your gua sha in the fridge or in the freezer, when you put it on your skin, and if you have fine skin, you potentially are going to encourage capillary, like visible capillaries. Now, I don't want that, 
no way I want that. So um, that's definitely something that I want to avoid because when we look at the texture of our skin, um, smooth complexion is one of the things that makes us look really young, actually. So if you have capillaries or, you know, I get this big patch of rosacea on my cheek at times when my skin is flaring up a bit, those are the things that actually make us look a bit older. So please don't keep it in the freezer. You don't need to, uh, especially the crystal ones are naturally cool and then they warm up as they're on your skin and you just don't need to mess with that. I don't know, like nature got it right. Like these crystals are from the earth. They're created, th you know, I don't know how many years ago, but thousands of years ago. And it's just, it's the, and combined with really natural skin oils where you've got those essential oils and the re responsibly farmed carrier oils, we're taking all of the goodness from the earth and we're putting it on our skin and we're connecting ourselves back with nature. And that too is also rejuvenating. <sighs> so I feel like I have shared a ton of things there very fast because I was conscious of being late. Um, but Please join us if you would like to join our vitality, wellness, support thing so you can thrive this festive season um, and forget waiting till January to be like new you, new start, new you. Let's finish off the year with as much support as possible. So when we roll into January, we're already feeling good. And so it, we're less likely then to like drop off and, uh, you know, I think the statistics of people who set a new year's resolution by by sort of you know a week later or something like 30 percent of people have dropped off by a month later it's like 95 percent of people have dropped off something crazy like that it's insane so adding in these little bits and pieces that we can just add in that are really efficient and easy into our daily and weekly regime they're the things that help support us all the time because we're able to manage them and we're not um you know you don't have to devote hours and hours to it so I guess they're my tips. Um, feel free to shoot me a message if you would like access to that Gua Sha Tech. Why can't I say tutorial today? Gua Sha tutorial. Um, I'll share that with you, or if you've got any questions, please put them, just send me a message or put them in the comments. What I would love to know is if there's anything you would like me to cover next year. I'm also just going to remind you right here that if you join, if you send me a message, join the waitlist for um, my skin alchemy course next year. I will give you a generous discount. So I'm not exactly sure when the launch date is gonna be right now. Um, I'm just finalizing all of the details with everything. Um, I would love to know if you're gonna join me. I'm keeping a little list of people. And if you're on that list, you'll get first access and you'll get a generous dis dis no, I can't say discount. I'm not even gonna say what's gonna come out then. <laughs> anyway, um, so that is Wednesday Wisdom today. I've got a little, little sneak peek for you. I'm gonna be coming back on Friday. I'm gonna do two a week until the end of the year. I've got to put focus on my phone and the messages that are coming up and I'm really trying to focus on what I'm talking about. So um, I'm so grateful for those of you that joined. I love that some of you watch it later and um, I would love it if you come and visit us at the markets. And as I said, if you have heard me say it or you saw it on one of my posts, if you come up to me and tell, you that you, tell me that you have, I'll give you a complimentary skin consult or skin energy healing. So I look forward to seeing some of you before the before Christmas. Um, I've got those three more markets. If you can't remember when they are, send me a message. And um, let's just really celebrate ending 2023 on a high note and starting 2024 on time. That, that's just for me. That's just a message for me. 